It's time for another installment of one of our much-loved recurring segments, Animal Class. That's right, and this week it's with Halifax's Laura Bain, and the subject of the class is a very special gopher tortoise. Here's Laura's story on Halifax's most beloved reptile. Welcome to Animal Class. I'm here at the Nova Scotia Museum of Natural History to meet Gus the Gopher Tortoise, who is actually a full-time resident and a bit of a local celebrity. Heather McKinnon Ramshaw is the animal care coordinator at the museum. So Gus is a small kind of tortoise. It's a reptile, it has a shell, 13 inches by 13 inches. His front legs are different than his back legs. So his back legs look like little elephant legs, they're like little kind of round, stumpy legs. And his front legs, they're kind of more like a flipper. You would think that he could swim with them because they're kind of like a scoop. And so with the scoop, he actually digs um, with his front legs. I guess weighs about 10 pounds, so he's a small bag of potatoes. Heather says lots of people think tortoises aren't turtles, but that's incorrect. Every tortoise is a turtle, but not all turtles are tortoises. Tortoises are turtles, they just go on land, and then you have terrapins that go in the freshwater, and then you have marine turtles that go in the sea. Another misconception is that Gus's shell is his house. His shell is part of his body, so his backbone actually runs underneath the shell, so he can't come out of his shell, but it is kind of a living part of his body that, that grows. It's like your fingernail. It's uh, the same material. Gopher tortoises are herbivores. One of Gus's favorite foods is a sun-warmed banana. It works best if Heather holds it for him. Gus is uh, 95 years old. He's actually the oldest living gopher tortoise uh, kind of recorded because gopher tortoises generally only live to 80, would be a really old gopher tortoise, and he's 95. He's kind of a grumpy old man, and he kind of gets what he wants. And he's kind of spoiled as tortoises go. Because the banana gets all over Gus's face, Heather gives him water, which he uses to rinse out his nose. Gopher tortoises are native to the southern United States. Gus is originally from Florida, where gopher tortoises are a threatened species. But how he came here is back in 1942, the museum director, John um, Crowdis, actually went down to Florida. He picked up Gus. Gus was an adult when he, when he was purchased. So we think Gus was purchased for $5. After his snack, I join Heather and Gus as they go for their daily stroll on the lawn outside the museum. He loves being outside and he loves eating the grass. It's actually the best thing because gopher tortoises are like cows with a shell. They like to graze. He's pretty quick actually when we watch, you know, if he gets going, he was faster than you think. Just like gophers, gopher tortoises like to dig long, deep burrows in the ground. At the museum, Gus lives in a plexiglass pen in the lobby. It was a pleasure to visit and find out more about Gus and his kind. For his part, old man Gus looks ready for a well-earned nap. You know, I was one of the few kids on my block who didn't have a turtle as I was growing up. Did you? No, I didn't either. But you know, as Heather told Laura, one of the things you need to think long and hard about before getting a turtle as a pet is how long they live. Uh, that's right. If you're like Gus, uh, that's a 95-year commitment. Yeah, well, Gus is an exception for his species, but some of the smaller species, like the painted turtle, can live up to 45 years. Gus sounds sweet, and uh, what a treat for visitors, kids and adults alike. You know, the museum holds a birthday party for Gus every year, so I think it's fair to say that he might be a little bit spoiled? No, they just take really good care of him. Check out his Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook page? Yeah, you can find him at Gus Gopher Tortoise.